joining us. This is Home Affairs. We're live on Joy Prime Television and we are also live on Joy 99.7 FM. I do hope you're doing well. I hope you're fine. If you're not fine, get well. If you're bereaved and you're seeing, you know, a loved one off today, I pray the good Lord comforts you and gives you strength to be able to go through it. The Holy Ghost is an enabler and you will definitely be strengthened. Now this morning, our question is very simple. You know we're still in June and it's still our men's month, okay? And so I have a league of men in the studio again and we're asking a very simple question. Does money make a man? Does money make a man? I have gone on to ask, is money a man's greatest need in this life? Is it such that if he has money, then uh, like maybe 90% of his problems are solved because with money, he's able to take care of his family. He's able to pay the fees, pay the bills, make sure they have a good life and all that. So does it mean that if a man has good money, a great percentage of his problems are solved? And I'm also asking, is a man's influence dependent on his wealth? even in his family so money 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 what does it mean to a man and how does money impact a man's life does money make a man is it his greatest need is that what his influence is dependent on we'll look at that subject and you can join us right away with your thoughts your comments your questions if you like on zero five five one 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 nine nine seven zero five five eleven eleven ninety nine seven and i will activate the phone lines definitely to hear from you on zero three zero two two one six five four one so you can put that on speed dial already if you like and uh, my guest this morning lawyer pencil he is you know a man of many parties a lawyer he's a pastor and he's a family life counselor so I really, really, really do love his perspectives on these conversations because he gives us a 360 perspective on it. Le Pencil, good morning. You're welcome. Good morning. And, and thank, thank you, you for joining us again. Thank you. Great. And today we have been joined also by Raymond Adai Dankwa, founder of Rad Kitchen and transport services and he is also a family man hi raymond good morning good morning Adele. welcome to home affairs thank you very we're much. happy to have you i am hoping that my colleague kuko super is able to join us i love his views and his thoughts on some of these issues so it will be good if kuku is able to join us i know that he has a lot on his plate but we're hoping that he's able to come this morning before the show ends all right so gentlemen you're welcome thank you that's money make a man <laughs> <laughs> is that what makes you feel like yo i am the guy here uh, I, don't, I don't believe that money makes a man okay you know just when we're speaking a scripture came into my head it said a rich man's worth mm. is his city mm. and the destruction of the poor is in their poverty mm. i think Bob Marley even made a song <laughs> out of it <laughs> and very exciting when you started talking about it just now it's not true. Money okay. money is very good. It's good to have money around you. It's very important. But it goes beyond that. I think beginning from yesterday when I started to think of this one, only one thing came into my head, one scripture, and it's in First Timothy chapter 6, verse 6. It said, Godliness with contentment is great gain. Okay. So that for me defines the essence of what a man needs or to be in other words godliness with contentment is what makes a man the bible is a great gain in other words something worthy of talking about because money never satisfies i ever said that money you know we have a local expression in fanti what's this and nam in so we so i am here in chanam in koba in other words if water satisfies then the fish will never even go for the hook. Mm. So money can never satisfy. It's like water, like the fish in the in the in the river. 
He can drink all the water, but he never gets satisfied. So, Lawyer like Pinto, you're saying that you can still be that man yes. who is in charge of his family, yes. take good care of his family, still have the influence he needs both in his home and in society, even if he can't boast of some good wealth. So exactly that. I'll sum it up in that way. Okay. I'm sure that there are lots of people out there who are argue with you and say this man doesn't know what he's talking about <laughs> well activate the phone lines and hear from you raymond what do you think um i think um he has said a lot but it also depends on where you are coming from uh -huh. uh, for instance uh, i believe as a family man mm -hmm. there are bills to be paid exactly and there are other things that needs money to um go along with i remember when i lost my job um Ooh. with capital bank it became an issue. The least thing I'm annoyed because I don't have the financial needs to support oh whatever dear. is supposed to be taken care of. I so the least thing you're upset. I'm not upset. So uh, for me, uh, so it depends on where it's coming from. In our modern days now, I think you need <laughs> it. You need it. <laughs> you can't. You you can't do without it. Uh, trust me. You can't beat your chest and say I, that I am the man here. Exactly. I remember do. one day I got mm -hmm. home and my son wasn't feeling well, and I was like. I was asking myself, why should he fall sick at this time of the day when I'm not working? So you could just imagine what it is at that time. So it depends on where you find yourself at that moment, depending as a family man or so. Let me ask you, I mean, because you told us about I mean, when you lost your job, apart from feeling upset and you being yeah. anxious and, you know, probably screaming on people, did you feel like you were losing your place as the man in the home? Yes, uh, at the point, because even uh, with the family, mm -hmm. I hardly would they even call me for a program or even there's a meeting because at the end of the day, whatever they know that you can't give, you can't give, oh you can't even God. support. So, why should we even bother oh to call God. you because of the situation that I find myself in? So, for me, um, I've been there and then I'm here again. So, I, oh. I know what it is not to have money as a man, especially when you're a family man. Oh, okay. I wasn't even looking beyond that. I was yeah. actually looking in your nuclear family. Maybe with you, your wife, and your you have a, a nuclear family. Yes. Before we even... The extended part is very interesting, but yes. let's talk about the nuclear family. Even in your nuclear family, between your wife and your children, did you? how long were you jobless for? Um, I think three years. I wow. lost. I lost my job as a result of the banking clean up. Yeah. In 2017, I'm... Um, started work again in three years ago i think two years ago okay so even in your nuclear family did you feel that way well yes i did um despite the fact that my wife wasn't showing any sort of um let's say um i don't even know the right ways to use but then you there are things that you do find suddenly you can no longer do it so it's a problem to you. I remember calling a friend, a colleague of mine, just to find out how he's doing. I realized that, oh, there was a noise at the bank. So I said, ah, what are you doing? He said, oh, he was sweeping. And I was like, why? I said, oh, since I'm not working, the woman has gone out. Then oh. it seems this interchange. So he has to do whatever he has to do just to make himself useful. This is so So sometimes real. you try to do things just to uh, bridge the gap. Since you are not working, you need to support the... The do woman, a bit more. Do more. Wow. And then your extended family. <laughs> I, I'm sure <laughs> that was like total disrespect. And how <laughs> did you feel? Uh, for me, I it didn't really bother me because I have a family to, and that's my nuclear family to yeah, take off. Yeah. So if I'm not being invited for family-related programs, cool, because at the end of the day, I, I don't have the means to support. So why don't I try and manage my limit resource? So what has happened now that you have a job again? Oh, every five minutes calls. <laughs> oh my God. So that's why I, I, I said earlier that I've been there and I'm here. So you see, it, it's, it, we live in a strange world where sometimes, you've yes. It, you've lost it and you, you have it exactly. again. It's It's... It's interesting. I think we even had this discussion three days ago in the office where we were trying to say that, look, sometimes money, I think money controls. People even don't care how you are making it. 
So far as you have it, you can have it. you can provide. Then it's not the same if a woman doesn't have money, is it? Um. <laughs> is it the same? If I, if I mean, like a pencil. Before I even come to that question, listening to him, yeah. do you still stand on where you are? Yeah, I, I believe um, he, he said what represents his views on the subject. Mm -hmm. but with I his have, experience. With his experience. Exactly. But I, tell, I was still a very fundamental uh, disagreement with most of the things have that he has said. Have you been there? Where Listen, you I grew up as a poor job. boy. I grew no, up as a poor not boy. growing up as a no, poor I started boy. I mean, life. as a man, like a man with a family to take care of. Have you been there where you have probably lost your job and for like three years you're unable to provide for your family no i believe uh -huh. I, I i don't even believe that that's the perspective we need to be looking at things for because we're life, actually talking about well so i will answer your question exactly. i will answer your question i haven't lost my job Before. but as a lawyer please mm. be notice that i mean most firms in ghana they don't pay salaries mm. it's only of very recent origin that lawyers are being paid so essentially, you are going to work. I was married when I started as a lawyer. My first senior was the right honorable Peter Alajete. Mm. I don't say this to embarrass me. He never gave me a penny. Because the whole idea of a pupilage is that you are trained under somebody's feet. I, w I had a wife, and I knew what it means to work with that money. So the question is, how do I make it? So how are you managing? Oh, man. <laughs> what? I mean, I, you know, like, oh man, I want to know. <laughs> you know, the point I'm making is that I mean, mm. it wasn't easy, but I believe that in this life that we go through, it's got more to do with your orientation, your 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 look on life, the way you look on life. Because see, th there's something that he said that struck me. You know, I love the Christian society. Like when I did have money, uh, when I got nobody minds me. Well, I wonder what really that is. What really people want to see in order to make them happy that the family calls you and that when you go you have a place to sit and what is that the real thing that we're looking for? But, but in our cultural setting, family is important. Um, it is. I mean, you know that we are we are family oriented. No, so let me make the point. Exactly. So the real point I'm making is that mm. it is good to have money. I have said that it is good to have money, but I have concluded this is my personal life. I'm not a young man. I may look young, but I'm not. <laughs> I'm 60 plus, wow. and I know what life is about. Mm. And I've concluded that no amount of money is going to make anybody satisfied. That's why millionaires keep working every day. And I keep telling people that you may never have had 100,000 cities in your account before, but the very day you received 100,000, you will you'll be so sad and you would have wished that it was one or 1,000. Okay. And that's what drives life. So unless you begin to look at life from other perspectives, what it means is that you're going to go on and go on and go on, and then your happiness, once it depends on how wealthy, that you are, you will never even find time to rest. Okay. Now, Painter, I'll take you on a little bit. So, we're not talking about happiness, yeah. really. Mm -hmm. uh, we're not talking about satisfaction, really. Mm -hmm. Our key, you know, focus here is the influence. You may not be very happy, but you're very influential. That's a fact. Because your money is able to speak for you. No, it's a fact of life. In your own family. <laughs> imagine, imagine how you how how it would feel like if basic things like school fees, clothes for your children, sh I mean proper shelter and all that What's you're it? unable to provide What's because it? you don't well, have well, it. Yeah, you don't you know, when a poor person loves his child, the child doesn't even see. No, like, I don't want you to be philosophical. No, no, but that's the I fact. I want that to be very practical. I'm reinforcing your point. <laughs> In other words, the point I'm making is that if you don't have money, your child's school uniform is torn, uh -huh. and you say you love him. He doesn't understand. He doesn't appreciate. He doesn't... Because loving your child from his anger means that his uniform is new, everything that he needs, he's able to get it, <laughs> and so forth and so on. I was once in a shop in UK and I saw a rasta man who brought his child into the shop and he wanted to the child pointed to a particular toy that he, he wanted. wanted. And I knew the guy didn't have the money and the child was crying and the, the man was also trying not to make a scene. You know what I'm saying? And I know I can feel it even though I've not been in those 
pro all mm. those places. Mm. So I agree with you. But I was trying to take it a little up the ladder. In other words, would I do that those are the kind of things that really define life. Because Ghana, our culture, I mean, come on, people have got lots of money, they cannot explain it. But when they come around, everybody runs towards them. So it makes you influential. It does. Because without it, they'll put you under the table. Yeah, but the point I'm making, I'm, I'm yes. trying to go, but I'll leave, it, I'll, I'll leave you to drive <laughs> it. <laughs> because <laughs> because uh, the, the point I'm making is that, is that what really makes you happy? No. You because I, I feel harassed. Okay. I'm telling you that. <laughs> Being where I am, I rather feel harassed. Because then you are the center of attraction. Then wherever you go, like you said, now people you, you want to drop your course. Is that not the case? Exactly. I, so I, really, I remember um, <laughs> uh -huh. I had a, I called a friend. I think my rent was due. Uh -huh. So then I called a friend. I needed a bit of uh, support just to add up to my and the person is actually a, doc, a medical doctor, and we spoke. But I think he couldn't uh, meet my meet my needs at that moment. So. Months later, I called him on a different issue, but he didn't pick. It is because prior to calling him, I've discussed uh -huh. a financial needs that I wanted him to support. Now, this is what happened. I was on a project at Kumasi, and then I'm diabetic and hypertensive. And so I realized that my oh, pressure was going up. So I was calling at that moment to just to send me a prescription in order to get oh. a drug. Up, and I refused. You see, he, he was thinking probably I'm calling him to remind him of my rent. So you see the, the, the advantages and some, some of the things that you go through. The fact that, yes, you don't have money. You lose some sort of respect. Even my among your, 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 your friends, your exactly. peers. My dean of studies, he's late now, um, Kofi Middleton Mens. He says that, you know they say a friend in need What's is a what? A friend in need? No. He says okay. a friend in need is a bloody nuisance. Oh, my. <laughs> At that point in time, you were becoming a nuisance to your exactly. friend, so he wouldn't even answer your call. But that's how bad it can get, Lawyer yes. Pinto. And I do understand what you're saying. There's a book we read when we were growing up. It says, uh, it's in French, the title is in French. It says, L'argent ne fait pas le bonheur. So, I mean, money doesn't buy good times and all that. But, like I said, I mean, happiness, everybody can define their happiness sometimes. You know, but responsibility for a man influence for a man and respect for a man from where i sit i think it has a lot to do with money lawyer like pencil that one do you agree i do but to a very limited extent <laughs> Now, now I, I'm talking about my experience, and I'm talking about life, <laughs> because like I'm saying, you know, I have time. seen life, you mm. know what I'm saying, yes. and this one, there's something we call inspiration knowledge, mm. and I have reflected over life, over all of these things, and whereas I believe that it's good to have money, I have concluded. Is it good or important to have money? Which one would you <laughs> use, good or important? <laughs> well, no, I say it is very important, uh, trust me. <laughs> Uh, it is very uh, important to have money. Yeah. A lot of mercy. Like no, but one. even there, we are talking about having money, having money. What is having money? Possibly because, because if we need to run around, Can then I we need to have a definition. Yes. For you, is being able to, t like I said, being able to take care of your responsibilities. And I think you put it in very good context for mm -hmm. us that there was a time that he had, he was working. Yes. And so. I mean, there was no there was no luck around him. His yeah. family was well taken care of. Yeah. I mean, everybody would come to you, Daddy. You had the influence. Yeah. You could do what you had to yeah. do. It's not like having I mean, living in affluence, yeah. but you were you had just enough to take care of oh, your the responsibilities. Basic responsibilities. Exactly. Then he went into a place where he had nothing. He had nothing and had to depend on his wife to take care of the home. You understand? So we are talking about not being in that position to take care of your ba even your basic responsibilities. How do you tout yourself as the man of the home? How do you show your responsibility? How influential would you be if you are unable to take care of the basic things? Pay fees on time. Make sure there is food. Make sure there is shelter. He went around looking for money to pay for rent. And if he didn't have it, it means that his family probably would be thrown out onto the streets. 
and that's what we are talking about you know i would say that the poorest guy that we can have in this country anywhere is anyone mm. man or woman mm. whose idea of life is that you must always have money because see if in that tight rope you walk mm. where you don't have money it's the time that you use wisdom to run the home your wife if she's working you must be able to get her around to be able to support you because see this whole idea that a man must always have money and that must always be working come on when we work where was your salary where was your saving and so forth and so on you know so i, I come back to the point that I'm, I'm holding on strongly to is that it is good to have all of those things but because these things are so relative if you put it that way then in my honest view you rob yourself of other experiences because see the providential history of god makes it that it's not all the time that you have money listen i sit here i'm a happy man because when i started life both myself and my wife we started from the lowest rank of this thing and today i'm a happy man because we have seen each other we've seen our house grow we now have a home and that's the way that's the real life for me because I'll be honest with you, a lot of people have got a lot of money and they are scared of women because he doesn't really know whether it did the woman who he has even for him. Left. You know what I'm saying? People cannot even make those simple determinations because of what is in their pocket. And then at the end of it, it leads to other things. I agree with you that it's really good to have money. I agree with you that without money, you can suffer in a lot of ways. But I'm telling you and I'm insisting that running a home is not about money. Okay. I want to ask you a practical question. Do. Also because of <laughs> your experience. Yes. For a man, I mean, a man, woman, but a man who has his home, you've gone to marry a woman, bring to your home. She's working. Probably she is not, I mean, earning that much yes. to support. But he bring, she brings in a little. And this man has also lost his job. Mm -hmm. And then you have about two or three children mm -hmm. who are sitting home whose fees cannot be paid because you don't have it to pay. The little, you don't have it to pay. What wisdom can you use for your children to go back to school? <laughs> A lot of mercy. <laughs> A lot. <laughs> lots and lots and lots and lots. Okay, Listen I'd to like me. To yes. If your children are owing school fees, mm -hmm. you can arrange to pay fees in installments. Laya Pencil, you have lost your job. There is no income coming. There is always a future. It so is I'm the asking hope. practically how? I'll give you one example. You mean that when you can't pay school fees, you can't even go to the school. You're not going to die. I mean, the whole of life is about hope. The whole of life. Listen, you see, I don't want to make it seem like like if we got a point into your in your life when indeed like you said you haven't got anything because i've seen people who are walking through that i've seen poor people people in the lower ranks of society who have not got half of the things that we have got but whose children are stable mm. whose homes are stable mm. because see, if we work the equation that way then i'm telling you that about 70 percent of the population of this country will be thrown into the sea okay yeah, I mean, that's the, I mean, that's the way I see it. Because, see, I grew up, I don't want us to go too much into the past, but I'm just trying to make the point that once we grew up with people who are affluent and so forth and so on, I went to second school, five years, my mother never stepped there. My father stepped there once, and so forth and so forth. But I'm here. You know what I'm saying? When we're in Lego, people see you. Oh, Chale, where well, you were in Motown. I said, really, if I got the opportunity, I would have gone to Motown. But I didn't go to Motown, but I'm also here. And see, those are the kind of things for me mm. that makes the life that we live, mm. I mean, worthy of living. Other than that, then our whole focus will have to be how you have this before you can do we'll this. Do this. But, but I, I'm telling you that I use the word wisdom. And I'm telling you, because see, like, you even learn, people shun you, okay? Yeah. People don't like your company. People shut the down on you. But you keep moving on. And I'm being frank with you, I have walked through that line where you, you need it. I mean, there have been times that even my bank will not give me a loan. They wouldn't give me a loan and so forth and so on but then you you learn how to walk through because that's what defines life 
for me. You work it. And when it also comes your way, you, you become even wiser. I believe that it's wiser. You know what I'm saying? Because of what he went through. So it's good to have money, but let's not define it and make it seem like every time that you are stabbed of cash, every time that you go out of funds, we know the women. They even will give you more respect. They give you more bedroom <laughs> space and all of that <laughs> when the money is flowing. I preach that. I tell my clients, I tell my colleague lawyers that, listen, our family doesn't see us quite often. So what I do, I hang my trousers. If my dem needs something, I say, oh, you go, go, go to the trousers. <laughs> and it makes me a happy man. It makes me a happy man. But mm -hmm. I will not make it seem that that That's has always been the case. That's all the point I'm trying to make. So my Great. good friend, I want you to have a lot of money. I may be visiting you. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so if you're just joining us, right, this is Home Affairs, and we're having a very interesting discourse in the studio. We're asking that does money make a man? Uh, is a man's <laughs> influence dependent on his money or on his wealth, even in his family? And we have very interesting perspectives from the gentleman I have in the studio. And uh, Leia Prinzel says that money is good, but money won't make you happy. You don't, your influence and your happiness should not be dependent on you having, you know, money. If you don't have money, you can still use wisdom to be able to survive and be happy. And uh, Raymond has told us that, look, he's been there. He has had it. He has lost it. He knew what he went through. Um, I'm sure he probably would have even, you know, something would have happened to him. I mean, because a friend um, refused to pick his phone call just because the friend thought that he was coming to ask them for money when in actual, natural fact, he was in, you know, um, health crisis. So we have very interesting and different perspectives on this subject. We'll be <laughs> activating the phone lines very soon to hear your perspectives <laughs> on 0302216541. And your messages have come through already on 055 Let me take some. This one says, money does not make a man. The strength to endure difficulties, to come out still whole and honest is what makes a man or a person. The concept of money, you are the man, you are the head, and anything to pamper the man's ego are all just social constructs. Most mm. men tag their image to what society perceive them to be. So does a man, so, so does a man lose his, his worth, sorry, if he is poor, but honest and humble. This is from Mas Cosby. Some very provoking <laughs> thoughts over there. But somebody again, I, I'm playing the devil's advocate. Somebody again will say, good, 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 good to all that you have said. But you have children to feed. You have, um, you know, home bills to take care of. You have school fees to pay. These are very practical things. Your children are home and all that. And you're talking about humility. Good morning, Adam. Money, 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 money. For he wrote it four times. Though not everything but important to be useful in your family. It's not easy. This is from Danny in a Acropong. Good morning. Let me be emphatic with you as a man. Bunny was not everything those days when our parents and grandparents <coughs> got married. And then he went into writing caps. But trust me, with the current ladies we have nowadays, <laughs> <laughs> it's not possible Hello. to be relevant in your family. Hello. And the society as a man uh, without uh, money. Uh, Great. Uh, and uh, Adam, uh, a friend, oh, why did you take that away? P a friend once told me, a man without money is a boy. boy. It's true. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Please, you even lose your confidence as a man. Money indeed makes a man. It's more than uh, good and important to have money. Uh, this is from Ajiman in Hacho. Okay, this is pretty long, but let's take it. It's strange when people talk like money does not make a man. Money, like money does not make a Money is not everything, and I agree. But money helps a man to be a man. I lost my job just after marrying. And after my redundancy package got finished, it was terrible. In a nutshell, it ended terribly, and it still affects me. Now I have a better job. And I don't even trust my current wife. Wow. He lost his wife because 
he didn't have money. Yes. Now I have a better job and I don't even trust my current wife. Lawyer Pinto made that point. But sometimes you have money and you are not sure whether the person is with you exactly. because of the money or they really want to be with you. So I save and save just so I can take care of my home. And she is happy. Probably I'm providing for the home. Money is important in a man's life. I agree with lawyer. One can't have enough money, but it's still okay to have enough to take care of the family. Of Oh my god. All right. Thank you very much for staying. This is Home Affairs on Joy 99.7 FM. We are also live on Joy Prime Television and uh, we're having one of the best conversations ever. Yesterday, when I posted this on um, Facebook, uh, <laughs> my chief came to comment. He said, This subject, eh, in fact, that's all he wrote. <laughs> he said, This topic, eh, hmm. Then another person said, I, I need not oversleep. Oh, I will stay glued. I hope that you didn't oversleep and you are listening. And, you know, I had a lot of messages uh, coming through when I posted this. I mean, uh, especially the inboxes. That felt like, look, Adam, let's not kid ourselves. You don't have money. You don't have anything. You don't have money. You are not a man. Somebody said, if you are a man. And somebody actually sent a message to say that if you don't have money as a man, you're just a boy. Because I can imagine, I mean, well, we had a, a show here and there was a man we hosted in the studio who said, because of money, you went for family meetings and they will tell you, I mean, because you're, you're older, but they will tell you, go and bring a chair for... <laughs> <laughs> bring a chair for your younger siblings mm. and their wives and children because they have mm. more money than you do. So, for a man not to be able to provide at all, not as in living aff affluence, but I mean, from the messages that are coming through, it's like you need to be able to provide at least. Good morning. Hello, morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm fine, and you? I am well, thank you. That's money for the month. Uh, please, somewhere in 1999, <laughs> I bought a taxi, and I read the back bumper, money is not everything. Mm. Anybody who apply for my service will ask me a question about it. I don't even really need money. Look, money is not everything, but we need money. You won't get any respect before your children and your wife and the family, even in the church. Mm -hmm. You can get about to say yes or this past years if you don't have money in the church. You won't get any position. You see, um this is for the lawyer. He don't have his own home or he's renting a house at me. I have a small uh, quarter pot in nearby. I can't develop it. I don't have money. So I'm still renting a house. You see, you can't buy poor for your children and wife every Christmas. So we need money. We need money. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much for coming through with Adam, that. Adam, let me intervene. Yes. You know, nobody should come to the conclusion that we don't need money. But you see, Jesus Christ on the occasion that was disciples and this woman came and cleaned his feet, would wiped her hair, whatever, and the Bible says that they were aggrieved that this woman had used that precious ointment. Jesus asked for the poor, you continue to have with you. God has not promised to make everybody a rich man. Mm. So the context is not about whether we need money or we don't even need money at all. But I've told you that it's very relative. For me as a Christian, Two things. Number one, if you go to the Bible, Matthew chapter six twenty five, it says what you will eat. Saying. Yes. Uh, Jonas, let me talk to Jonas on the phone. He's paying some bills and then come back. Hi, yes. Jonas. Yeah. Good morning. Good morning, Jonas. Is that Jonas Tinkrai? Very well. Oh, how are you? Um, well, super, super awesome as always. And the missus. She's doing very fine. I mean, after delivering twins, you know what is what oh, is going. Oh wow! Beautiful. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. you Bless God. For me. Yes, you yes. You need to come for tutorials. You know, mine are turning 14 <laughs> next month. So you need to come for a lot of tutorials. Let's 
Let me uh, hear then, you, Jonas, on our subject. On money. Um, yeah. Yeah, of course money is important, but I think that a man needs more of wisdom, not just money. You can have money, but then if there is no wisdom, sometimes the home can look very, very dysfunctional. So I think that it's not that you need money. Money, I don't think that money is really what makes a man. It is wisdom that actually makes a man. Because with wisdom, you can actually have answer. And for those of, you know, our colleagues, or, you know, our friends, nice, that these days, the women we have, no, I think it is critically, you know, checking things very well before you jump into it. Then you'll be able to know, you know, the kind of woman that you're actually getting into. I think that there are exceptional ones. You know. And this morning, I them. All of us, the guys, especially those of my young guys that pass through Team Prenesh and Springboard, we want to say happy, happy birthday to our mother, Mrs. Comforter Cran. Today is your birthday. Happy birthday to you. God bless you. Great, Jonas. So, I mean, yeah, money is, okay, you said money is important. I was going to say that. So, the twins, yeah. if you don't have money How you and you have it? wisdom, <laughs> you can go to a mother care shop and collect yeah, that. Wisdom. Wisdom. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm not. I, saying, I, I don't. I don't really believe it's fair. You know, because see, it's not everybody who's going to be rich in this world. And you see, unless we 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 make this discussion to let other people appreciate that even if they don't have money, they can still go through life and be content. No, your face then, is very difficult. Very no, very difficult. but the difficulty difficulty is part of life. So what are we saying? If everybody's going to become a millionaire in this country? Def no, no, we're not. Uh, you know, we set this in contest and said that there are. And and look, he 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 contextualizes our conversation for us perfectly. I believe it. We're not talking about affluence. We're talking about just being able to provide. And there are some people who can't basically provide. Yes. That's what we are talking about. Yes, but that's okay. only a so point let me, in let time. Me, let me show you something. Let when me Jonas see Robert, did mention Robert of... and come back. Okay. Don't forget. Hello, Robert. <laughs> Robert, good morning. Hello, good morning. Good morning. Can you hear us? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay, great. Let's hear you, Robert. I do not. Oh, what's yes, happening online? Yes, Robert. Please position yeah. yourself. Hello. I, 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 good morning. Good morning. All right, okay. Ah. Hello? Robert, can you position yourself very well? So yes, that yes, yes. I'm Robert. I'm, I want to contribute. Please go ahead. All right. Uh, I, I, I want to say that uh, the gentleman who lost it. Okay, Robert, please check your connection and call us back. Yes, um, Raymond. Yes, um, is it, um, what's his name? The earlier caller before, Robert. Is it Jonas? Jonas said sometimes <laughs> you need to apply wisdom. I quite remember um, my son, he was having career. Career day. Day. Now, it's now I couldn't buy the co costume, so then I have to come out with an excuse that he's not feeling well. And I keep on doing so that. I use wisdom. I, I use wisdom, <laughs> but I, for how long will you keep on using wisdom? You understand? The wisdom is not lying. <laughs> the wisdom is not lying. I want to put no, it that I way. Know. That's no wisdom. Let me ask you, so in this situation, right, how, what should he have done? Let me tell you, this costume day, people come to us. They come and borrow things from us. I don't know exactly what we wanted him to be. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But it's something I can even take it up with the school. I'm having difficulty. You know, the truth about life is that mm. if you don't have it, let people know that you, you don't, don't have, have it. it. So the whole pretense about claiming or whatever because when you teach your child this way he, he begins to notice an aspect of, of you, you which is telling blatant lies to cover up situations yeah, so you know what i'm saying so the whole idea i mean it's a complex situation it that is. we're talking about you know what i'm saying <laughs> but how you go through you see I, I, I want to make this point maybe i may not speak again the way that I am so emphatic by what I'm saying is that, you see, I like to link this discussion to other things because the perspective that people have about life is what drives them to fulfill particular gaps in their lives. 
if you understand the way I started it, that godliness with contentment. Godliness means that doing things the right way, right. look on God. The word of God says in Proverbs chapter 10, 22, that is the Lord who blesses and has no sorrow. Now in this, nobody gives a damn about how you make money. Because of the perspective we have that you must have money, you must have your children go to work. So nobody, morality and all of those things have been so lost in this country. Been. And I'm telling you that if we go on that tangent, if we continue on that, we are all doomed because mm. now nobody cares. That's true. Issues of morality, issues of all of nobody is interested. Everybody knows that we all need money, so we got suck our boys all the way, <laughs> and that's the, their way of fulfilling mm. the, the society's a, a, a expectations a friend, of them. A friend You're just right. sent me a message, and if you should read it, uh, it will break you down. What did he say? Let's see. Here. Tell him to talk to me. Yes, money makes a man. Without money, you lose the right to be called a man. Listening to you guys make me cry this morning. I'm going through the worst part of life currently because I can't take care of basic things at home. Funny enough, today is my daughter's birthday. I promised her a tablet because she keeps breaking her mom's phone. But because I don't have the money, I am not able to fulfill my promise to her. She just told me, Daddy, you lied to me and that hurts. Without money, boss, forget it. Mm. You lied to me. He's lying to his daughter. He's not concerned he about lie. that. He wanted he to lie. buy he it to, to him. But if you want child. to buy it and you don't have it, it was the biggest deal. Hello, good morning. I don't Hello, know good where. morning, Eden. Good morning. How are you? Yeah, I'm enjoying God's blessings. This is Isaac James from Abukobi. Hi, Isaac. How is Abukobi this morning? Yeah, well, Abukobi is doing well. Beautiful. Let's hear In you. In fact, I, I, I want to say that the scripture says money answered all things. But the same scripture also says that wisdom is the principal thing. Mm. You see, uh, the lawyer is right. You see, our lives shouldn't be that. We, sh we shouldn't depend on money fully, but we should depend on God. If you depend on God, he will give you the wisdom and then he will provide for you as well. Mm. You are not, it's not that you should sit down doing nothing, nothing. like sit, sit idle, I, I, idle doing nothing. But if you put your trust in God with wisdom, he will direct you what to do. And all the time you have peace in your home. That is the, what I want to say. Thank Great. you very much. Thank you very God bless much. You. Thank you. Interesting discussion this morning. All that I can say is every man has a voice, but money is the volume. <laughs> this is crazy <laughs> from Rick <laughs> oh, no. I like the way people put these days. <laughs> Six months, I assisted my husband when he was off job. It wasn't easy, but all I did was respect him. Since I have appreciated him more because it's not easy to be a man, he's got a better job, and I am enjoying. Ladies, hmm. It's not easy at that point, but it is for a reason, and it will be worth it. Thank you, Ifwa, for sharing that with us. Bible says, money answereth everything in life. Life is meaningless without money. This is something from Sunyane. Adam, money is important to growing up with my parents. I make some few. I made some few observations. Dad always ups mm. dad was always upset with the little provocation because he did not have money. Dad intentionally goes out when it's time to go to school. And the money is important in a man's life. Even as women, anything we are able to purchase, what we need is um, money. It gives it gives one some form of fulfillment. And this is from Rama in Tessano. Good morning, Adam. The bottom line is money has a lot mm. of weight. Whichever way you look at it, this is from Nana on the Spencer's Road. No money, no respect to as a man. This is from Abba. And how do you run a home when there's no money? This is from Kwesi in Kaswa. And Adam, please, law your lawyer friend is definitely speaking from a different level and perspective simply because he doesn't understand the fact that there are no there are so many men who cannot even find a job that pays them well people's salaries don't even cross the current month let alone the following month before the next day 
please lawyer try not to get to that point where you can't even know lawyer has passed that stage <laughs> school fees and you will understand well but he has made his point very clear that you need you still need to be wise no matter the situation we don't have to make our lives all about money life can still be fulfilling depending on how you live it without you know all the money we are talking about good morning at an interesting topic i must say i have experienced both that is life with a good job and now currently out of job for the past four years so i can I identify with the submissions from lawyer pencil and raymond my conclusion may be this money makes a man's responsibility um, very easy and achievable while the lack of it makes it difficult for the man to function at full capacity achieving less money is absolutely good but does not make a man perfect this is from douglas in a adam this argument is heating up in the office as you speak hey this <laughs> early <laughs> hi vivian good morning to you hello good morning. good morning vivian how are you i'm very good great let's hear you i'm, I'm just listening to a program okay i didn't say early enough but getting the gist from what you are saying you're talking about responsibility to marriage and money yes now what i want to say money is very very important mm. in a relationship now there are some men that they don't have it now but then you you as a lady you try to help the person out and eventually they see you differently in life let me give you uh, 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 a little experience I have had. I met this guy when I was 21. Today I'm 48. I have two kids with him. He couldn't just, let me say, he didn't have a job. We all started as teachers. He said he didn't want to teach. So he was doing other things. And as a woman, I took, I, I spent all my time to support him in every way that I could, see that I did everything. I would go into small business, help him to go to school. He said he doesn't want to go to school. He wants to do other things. I support him to, to marry me completely. He couldn't have the money to do it. But I was thinking, because I thought that once I've been able to support my mom, when everything gets well, we are going to enjoy it together. Mm. Now, eventually, he said he wanted to travel outside the country. I, I was then doing some small businesses. I got him some money. I helped him and he went outside the country. Look, just three days ago, I spoke with one of his bosses that he used to work with. Apparently, he has left me, actually. He has gone to marry somebody else in the U.S. Wow. And let's say the to make a picture of them on my own. Fine. But I, I am back on the news thing to find out exactly what, what I did wrong. Because for me, all I tried to do was to support this man to be on his feet. So that one day we can take off our children together. Mm. Actually, what I'm hearing from his boss just three days ago, he's been away for about 12 years. He's not been home before. Wow. What he, I'm gathering is that I was too assertive. I was like, when he didn't have money and, and he was depending on me, like he was so ashamed. He didn't know how to face me. And it looks like the thing was an mm -hmm. ego thing from what I'm hearing. He, like, he wants a relationship where he can be on top of the game. Yeah, Vivian. Where he would have all the money and... He would like dole it out, dish it out to the, you as a wife. So because now? he didn't have the money, does he have it now? Yes. Say again. Does he have the money now? I no, he's in the US and I think he's doing well because Great. he's married now. Okay. So I can't tell whether he has it now or not, but I believe he's now uh, on his feet. Thank you, Vivian, for sharing with us. <laughs> Thank you. That. Thank you. <laughs> Now, let me quickly say a happy birthday to Marlene Mainu alias Ajua Lagata, co queen, fix boom barrier. Enjoy your day from old boys and girls, KB Shrekers. So, happy birthday to you, Marlene Mainu 
alias Ajoa Lagata. And this is from all the old boys and girls from KB Shrekers. Now, I have a message here that says, My bread are so for lawyer. I will tell you the story about a friend of mine whose father used to organize periodically for his wife's warehouse to be looted. Uh -uh. <laughs> Why? He called it maintaining the equilibrium. He said, every time Madame's business started to boom, she became so disrespectful oh, and Jesus. uncontrollable. How did we know? He told us himself on his son's bachelor's night with these closing remarks. You will be the one wearing the skirts if your wife has more money than you. Mm -hmm. I'm listening to you. Yeah. He said Madame was at her wifey best when he had loaned her money to recapitalize her business. So <laughs> <laughs> the extent people can go. Yeah. Okay, let me take okay, your, your, your... I mean, we're, we're ending the show yeah. now. I think the point has been made. We all have agreed. Even lawyers very still agree that money is very important. Mm. He's just saying that it doesn't. It's not what will make you happy. It's not what will perfect your life, but it's very important. And we've heard from Raymond as well. Next week we have another conversation. Hopefully we will have you know the the urologist in the studio and and the men's man. But come July, we have had conversations women and men. We're going to focus on the youth, the teen. We call it the teen series. Next week I will tell you all about it and let me also remind you that monday is my birthday so keep your prayers and your wishes coming monday 27th june is my 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 birthday i wish it was a saturday so that we can celebrate it here but i thank god for my life and i hope that um just say a prayer for me when you wake up monday morning let me take your final words and then we'll wrap up on the show Lay your i repeat what the bible says in first Timothy says that is content a godliness with contentment is great gain for we did not bring anything in this world and we'll go with nothing great thank you and from you raymond uh, so just as in running business you need money to run it's the same as family you need fa uh, money to run your family mm. if not Charlie, trust me you lose your <laughs> your title as the man of the house great so my friend says this uh he says if you if you can't you can't for a reason and a season so it's your wisdom and knowledge and understanding of principles of life that will take you to the next level i am so 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 with lawyer pencil and a, a man is a man money doesn't make a man wisdom makes a man all right and this one please everyone needs a sustainable income and for that to happen you need to apply wisdom so the lawyer is right since i married my husband he has lost his job twice. The first one lasted three months and the second lasted for a year and a half. That's how we are ending Home Affairs. Enjoy your weekend. But stay <laughs>